guys, it's Nick, your boy, just uh, showing you the uh, throne pocket that I made, well, I'm sorry, throne mesh pocket. Um, it's black and gray, it's, I'm sorry, I made up two mistakes. Uh, it's actually black and uh, white, and it strung up really well. Uh, the mesh is unbelievable. I mean, I could go on forever saying some of the, saying all the things I like about it, but, I mean, I had a superstition that this stuff might not have been worked, especially for me, but... I mean, it does. It just really does. Uh, take a look. I mean, that's the, that's my shaft, and that's the mirror image of my pocket. And I think it just looks so swag when you look closer. Well, I'm just doing it on my phone, but it just looks amazing. I mean, the black at the top, and I stretched it all the way down to sort of mid-level, and then. I, uh, you know, just flattened it out, made it a pretty cool pocket, um, as you can see from the side, um, as you can see from the back, uh, let me just punch it in a little bit, so, yeah, that's the Volt Lakota, I flapped it over a bit, because I didn't want to cut it off, because the mesh just seemed too good to do that, so, um, yeah, um, in some lights, it's it's actually kind of weird because it looks different in some lights than it does in uh, other ones. But I'm just going to keep it on here just for a sec, just to uh, just to show you just a few things. Um, like I said, I really got crazy with the channel because I went all the way down to that point. And that's like past mid almost. So what that's going to do for you is that's going to give you like a really, kind of like a low mid pocket. And... I, like I said, I had a superstition about these shooters because I thought they weren't gonna. I thought they weren't honestly going to, you know, help me, because um, I thought they were just gonna bunch up. You know, that's why I always use white. Um, but with this stick, I mean, it just completes it. Um, uh, I didn't really have any other choices for sidewall or top string other than white, and I actually actually just used the same top string and colors that I used. Um, I mean, excuse me, I used the same string that I used um, when I strung my other stick uh, with the other crappy wax mesh that was in it. So uh, I got a little dirty, but it's like all wax sticks, they all get dirty. So, I mean, what not? Just get more shooters, just get different strings. So who cares? Um, so, uh, yeah, no, I love it. Um, you know, it. Uh, I wish I could get a couple better angles at it, but as you can see... This is the throne mesh. It looks really swagalicious. I mean, it is so bright that I could stand it up right here and through the window it's just getting, you know, so much sunlight. But I love it on this shaft. I mean, even though it's an F15, it's got the King logo right there. So it's almost like I have a th I have thrown mesh on a thrown shaft almost you know and it's, it's just kind of cool so uh and i joke around with joe a lot and i call him the king you know because he is the king so uh but yeah no it's it's great like you see like i like you can see right here you know the brian logo is in neon ye neon yellow um neon yellow and neon green same thing with the brian f15 logo and you know for a while it was just my coaching stick but now this thing is going to be my full-time stick and I guess I'm going to have to retire the clutch. Or I'll put it on the shelf for a little while. But other than that, I think it's strung up really well. Um, the mesh, like I said, I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. There is some things that I, I guess I didn't like about it. But maybe that's just because, you know, I wasn't used to it. Um, I've always I've always been used to string a shack mesh and the smaller diamonds. Um, so when I was stringing this, it was just a little bit trickier to get the same exact pocket. And I always thought that if I got a good pocket on my clutch, that it would shoot the same with the East Coast mesh on my clutch than with Throne mesh on my Lakota, which is absolutely false. Because the Lakota is a totally different head, and it has a flatter scoop. Um, as you can see, the top, I mean, it's just like so comes up to a point, it's flat. Um, the clutch kind of like curves over, so um, it gives you like that little lip, you know, when you're shooting. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but. Yeah, like I was just saying, I mean, it's just it's just such a swag of a stick. I mean, when you look at it from, like, 
distances, it's just, it gets better and better and better, you know. Um, sorry for that. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it, it's just really cool. I mean, I was one of the lucky persons to get a piece of it uh, when he sent it out. And I really recommend that everyone grabs a piece because it's just really good stuff. Um, when you string it up, um, it has a really good, it has a good feel to it. Um, it's not sticky. It almost has a coating that it doesn't flake off. So I'm going to zoom up to this black up here. And you can see that there is no wax coming off anywhere up there. Even in the sunlight as it comes through the window. There is no wax coming off there. Um, some of the East Coast Mesh videos, no offense to him, but, I mean, some of them do flake. Um, but the whole wax thing, when you're doing wax mesh, you can't just dump, dump it in and take it out and, you know, have a pocket. It's just not going to work like that. Um, you have to know your science. I mean, you have to know that, you know, it, there's a, you know, a process of drying. I mean, it just, there's just so much more that goes into it. You know, that's why um, um, this is just quality mesh. And it's worth the price of whatever he's asking for. If he's asking 15 20 If he's asking $20 a piece for this, I'm telling you right now, buy it. Because, I mean, it's going to last, number one. And number two, it's going to be quality. I mean, why get semi-hard in your stick and have to restring it like three times, you know, over a season? I mean, this stuff, you could probably use for... I mean, if my East Coast mesh lasts me a season, I mean a little over a season actually in coaching, you know, going through absolute hell. I mean, I think this thing could, you know, very well last for a very much longer time. Um, but then it, but, you know, so other than that, uh, I don't really want to keep repeating myself, but I just, when I look at this thing off video, you know, I just notice, you know, it, like I, I notice the black first meeting the vault and it just looks so cool, you know, um, channel's a little bit messed up, but I can fix that really quick. Uh, but I threw around with the ball just a little bit, and, you know, um, just to see if the shooters would give it more whip that I wanted, and they were just perfectly placed. Um, I just couldn't ask for more. So, I guess without further ado, um, I'm just gonna end this video pretty quick. Um, I'm not gonna stay on here too long, because um, other than that, but again, Nike Volt Lakota strung with black and gray thrown mesh with a three point U, a five point U, and one across and Volt shooters that he was generously enough to give to me. And the pattern on this head, I'll just give it to you because I know you're all going to ask. Um, don't you just love how that thing fans at the end when you look at it? That's just so cool right there. I don't know. I just love it. Um, the pattern um, top string is uh, at the second hole, side of the third hole. Go through that little hole up there. Skip, not, uh, skip, not, skip. Stretch that down, not. Uh, that's a two eye and skipping two holes in, well, while you're doing it. Um, one eye, skipping one hole, one one, tie off. So it's pretty much that. Um, so I don't know. I just, like I said, I just, I mean, I just really love it. I mean, this stuff, I mean, I could stretch it out. I, I mean, I don't want to cut it because it just looks so cool, you know? But I mean, it's just weird. In so many different lights, it just picks up different hues, and in person, it looks so much different. I mean, if you could see this thing in person of how it just looks, I mean, it would be totally different. I mean, you it would just blow your balls right off. Um, I mean, the in, in the in the in the video it looks you know somewhat yellow, um, but it doesn't really pick off that neon green neon yellow hue. Um, so you'd have to have a Volt Lakota to know what I'm talking about. Um, but that, like I said again, it's got a really tight channel, as you can see going down. Bam, bam. And that's pretty much that. Thank you very much again to King Joseph for sending me out the mesh. And I absolutely love the pocket. And if anybody needs any recommendations, if anybody has any questions about it, I'd be feel, feel free to comment, subscribe, do what you got to do, and whatnot. Um, kind of like that king thing on there, too. It's kind of like, 
We have the King F15 on the Lakota. So, that's pretty much that. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace.